Live Lab, we've been making our own Scribble robots. Today, I want to show you how you can make your own one like this at home for yourself. This activity was inspired by the guys at the Tinkering Studio. So thank you very much to the Exploratorium San Francisco for sharing your ideas. OK, so today we're going to need a plastic pot, some felt tip pens, some tape, an AA battery, something to make wonky weights with, so we've used plasticine, an elastic band, and you'll also need a small motor. You might not have one of these at home, but they're really easy to buy online. The kind you want is a three volt motor. Our one's about two centimetres high, uh, and they cost only a couple of pounds. So our first job is to take our plastic pot, doesn't matter what size or shape you have, and our felt tip pens, and to attach them on like robot legs. So I'm just going to use this tape. I'm actually going to make mine upside down with the leg sticking up to begin with. I've picked some nice autumn colours today. Uh, obviously, you choose your own. These pens are going to be its legs. This is what's going to make the scribble for us. Next, we need to work out how to make it move. So we need our motor and our AA battery. Our first job is just going to be to check that everything is working OK. With this motor, it doesn't matter which way around the battery goes. You just need to join up the two wires and you should be able to hear the motor spinning. At the moment the motor is going to be spinning really smoothly but that's not what we want because for our scribble robot it needs to be unbalanced and shaky and that's what's going to make the scribbles. So we're going to use our plasticine, let's make it into a bit of a lump we're going to put it on our motor at a bit of a funny angle like this. Now, to be able to hold everything in place, what I've done is taken an elastic band and wrapped it around. And that's going to mean you can tuck your connectors under the band and that's going to hold it nice and steady for you. So now we know we can get the motor to spin in an unbalanced way. We need to get it on our scribble bot to power our scribbling robot. So first of all, I'm going to choose where to put the battery. And then I'm going to add the motor. The good thing about this activity is where you put all the bits and pieces the first time round, you might change your mind and try some different places as you go through the activity. That's the great thing about the Scribble robot. You can keep chopping and changing things and seeing how that affects how it moves and the scribbles you make. So let's see what kind of scribbles our robot's going to make for us. So I'll just take all the lids off the pens. Set it down on a nice big space and then attach up the wires. So even when you've got a scribble you're happy with, it doesn't have to finish there for your scribble bot. There's lots of other things you can change and see what happens to the scribbles. You could change the size of your plasticine, the shape of the lump, where the motor is, and how many pens you've got. Try changing all these different factors, see what happens to your scribbles. Keep going, keep making changes and see what happens. Happy scribbling. For more activities you can try yourself at home, check out these videos. And for more science every week, click subscribe. Thanks for watching.